Hello everybody, welcome back. I honestly can't believe I'm doing this for the third time in a row. Um, I'm very excited about it. So tonight I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to try something that I've never tried before and that's going to do the cat eyes and I'm going to be using this Scandal Eyes by Remill. So it should be fun. Has pretty, ah, there we go. Nifty tip, kind of looks, it's a felt tip marker. It's not a marker, but it reminds me of a marker. And it will be able to help me do the whole winged eyeliner, everything. Um, the look I'm going for tonight, I'm going to be using some gold and black. And I've done it before. I've taken a picture. It's on my Facebook. I'll post that picture up first. But I've never done the wing liner before. So that should be fun. I said cat eyes. I didn't mean that. I'm just, I get confused. I drink too much coffee. It's... Probably a bad thing. But anyway, so what I'm going to start out with is doing one eye and then what I'm going to have. And we're just going to go on with the show. So here we go. I'm using the Milani palette that I found at Lawton's. Uh, all we're using out of this is the black. And we're just going to do the crease in the corner. I know some people start doing their wing liner first. I'm going to do mine last. I guess it's all just about preferences. Is a new elf brush I bought today, a little crease brush. You can't go wrong for a dollar. And it actually works really well. I'm hoping to buy more e.l.f. products. Ever since I've seen the video of Jeffree Star using, make an entire face using e.l.f., I've just been dying to try it. So once we get this crease filled in, and the corner filled in, what I like to do with this look is I have this NYX white shadow base. So I'll be applying that to just from the corner to the center of my lid. Loving this so far. So now what I do is, I have a few angle brushes, so I always just use the same one. I have this little angle brush, and I just go in with this white. So what I'll do is that I'll finish one eye first, and then we'll, I'll come back on and do up the liner. So what this white does is that um, there's a gold I love to use, and this just makes it pop out so much more. I'm also going to finish off this black using Jeff, like, the, I'm only using two palettes for this video. And that's my Milani palette and my Jeffree Star palette. Like, I'm in love with it, so I have to... Like, look at those colors. They're gorgeous. He just came out with a new one, Androgyny. I cannot wait till March. Like, I'm going to have that. Like, I need to. So what I'm going to go in with is, when I can get this right, Black Rainbow. And just pat that over the black. Give it some sparkle. Because everybody, you, you need to have some sparkle in your life.
I find if you just kind of pack it on top, it kind of gives it a little bit more pigment and more dimension. I think that's the right word I'm using. Okay, so now that the black rainbow is applied, next I'll be going in with this color Rich Bitch and just putting that over the white. And I kind of just pack that right on top of that white shadow base. I'm so happy my eyes aren't stained from earlier. I did a very purpley pink eyeshadow for today and I find with a lot of purples they will stain my lid and I have purple eyelids for days. I mean like there's nothing wrong with the color purple. I'm definitely an advocate for it. I've had my hair purple so many times. We'll mix some of that, well, rich bitch, up into the black as well. Give it a little bit more sparkle. Like, I'm just in love with the names that he calls them. Like, it's amazing. So, so far, this is what the eye looks like. I'll get a little closer. Kind of have a, I'll call it like a yin-yang effect, half and half. But... At the end, it just looks so stunning. Like, I would wear this look just to go out. Um, very adventurous like that sometimes. Like, just, I don't know. Enjoy it. It's just too much fun. Kind of like a queen bee type look. I definitely wouldn't be wearing my purple plaid shirt with this look, but... It is just, I can't even talk. I love it. So now that's done. I like to go around the top using um, my NYX palette. I guess I lied. I'm using three of them. And I use the white. And I just go below the eyebrow just to highlight that space under there, like, let no space be unused. Because so far, kind of look like, well, my other eye looks like I'm a raccoon. Which are cute. But I don't think my cats would very much like it if I brought a raccoon in the house. And I don't think my sister would either. So you're probably all wondering what I used on my face today. Uh, all I did was use my regular concealer... Uh, which is, I have a NYX, uh, let me find that. It's my NYX, it, um, it's for the dark circle under your eyes concealer. And then over that I use CoverGirl. Um, normally I use Maybelline, but I do love CoverGirl. I can't wait to try their new liner and powder. Um, for foundation, I didn't really use foundation today. Um, all I did was use my Milani, like my, yeah. I just use my Milani powder. I find that it gives me the look I want and I'm still able to use the blushes I love and everybody can still see my freckles, which is very important to me. I love my freckles. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is the the liner for the, this look. I'm going to do the wing liner in... I'm going to hope for the best here. I've never done it before and if I screw up, I'm hoping that... Well, I'm definitely going to laugh at myself, so I'm hoping everybody else does too. I don't know if I have to push down on this liner. Yes, I do. Okay. That's good to know. Or I broke it, but I'm really hoping I didn't break it. So I'm going to start out here. And I'm just going to talk into my hand so nobody can hear me. I'm going to just line the bottom first.
Really hope I use this right. Doesn't really give you instructions. I should have kept the box. I did not do that. Okay, not so bad, not so bad. We'll just see how the finishing touch goes. Okay, it's kind of funny. I look absolutely terrified when I try to put this on. To be honest, I probably am. I have a feeling I'm going to have to like fix the lining on this, but that is okay. I've been suitably told by my sister that maybe I should have practiced before I did this, but it doesn't look too bad. Kind of looks like my eye has a stinger. Kind of works for the queen bee look. All right, let's just play with this. Wow. You know what? Let's do that. Let's make it a little bit more like a bumblebee. They told my name means honeybee in Greek, so maybe it's kind of fitting. All right. So I absolutely, I do like that. That is fun. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is just take a little bit. I'm going to take this little edge brush. I'm going to take some of this shiny black that I have in my NYX palette. And I'm not going to go over that line, but what I am going to do is do right underneath my, my lash line here. Give it a little bit of a shimmer. Try to clean this up a bit. Okay, that part's done. And then I'm going to go in with Rich Bitch and just do the underlying just as I would to the other side.
Okay, absolutely loving this look so far. Alrighty. So now that I feel a little bit more confident with this liner, I'm going to go over this black line again to make it a little bit more darker. Now I probably just figured out why they do this first. Take my little big brush and brush off the flakies. And then what I'll do with my waterline is go in with this black that I ha got from NYC. I'm all about doing things, making things look pretty and be affordable all at the same time. Okay, as you can tell, I'm only doing one eye now. I'm going to do the other off camera, and then I'll be back here soon. I'm just going to finish up this eye with mascara, which I'm using the black So Lashy. I've been using that pretty much in every single one of my videos. I'm slightly obsessed. Although, there's only one thing I have to say about it, and in that it, I find it just takes... There is a lot of product on this brush, and if you do not have a lot of lashes then that is just going to clump everywhere. I blinked. It hurt. So I'm hoping in my next video that I'm going to be trying out the new Boss Maybelline. Maybe I'll do a one eye so lashy and one eye boss just to see what which one I like better. I'll probably do that definitely in my next video. I accidentally stabbed my eye. That wasn't fun. So I'm just going to do some touch-ups and do my other eye, and I'll be back to do some lips. Okay, I'm back. So I finally got my eyes finished. I love it. It's so much fun. So now what I'm going to pick up for a lip is another one of Jeffree Star's because I'm absolutely in love with his lipsticks. Uh, this is part of his holiday edition, and it is named Deceased. So, I'll, yeah, I guess I'll just put this lipstick on now. I love how these dry, how they apply. It's just... 
The formula is just A1. I super want to try some Kylie's though. They hear good things. Looks a little crooked. Much better. Best thing about it, I didn't have to go in for another swipe. So this is my look. Take my little clippy out. Get my hair looking nice. So yeah, this is the look I'm going with tonight. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Ugh. Ugh. Cannot talk. I hope everybody enjoyed my video and everybody here like want to see something different. Please comment below, subscribe, and everyone have a fabulous weekend and a great week. And I'll see you next Friday.